Okay, what's up everyone? This is me, x Up Production, and this is week three of Building Bat 2. We have got a lot of things in store for this episode, and we are going to get a lot of stuff done, such as the rock work and cave work inside of the mountain, as well as we are going to get our first building made in Bat 2, and sort of be able to see more of the future of this mock and how we are going to get this to come all together. Uh, we have a lot in store for this episode, of course, as well as we got a couple more sets picked up, which you'll see later on in the video. We do not have any time lapses in this video, but we have a lot of jam-packed progress made. So with that all said, let's get right to it. Okay, so here is the first main thing I've been working on off camera, which is this transport vehicle for underneath the base with that tunnel I was talking about. And yeah, so here it is in its finished result. It's I think it's pretty nice. It's not the best, but I think it works pretty well. Come back here. I just have some figures back here as an example. Here's the back gate that you can... I have nothing on the inside, but yeah, there's a nice bit of room in there. So that's just an example of that, and of course this can open and close. I don't. I might put something back here just to make this look a bit smoother, but that's it. Then up top on it, we have some nice, just texturing and different things put up top just to make it look not so bland. And then on the sides, I got windows and stuff like that. And then I have these two big turrets on either side. Here's the front. It's nothing much because it's more so just something that would travel underground on underneath this tunnel. So it's just a little opening for the clone or whoever's piloting this can see through. Then on either side here, I have these little doors. They're a bit tricky to open, but... They both open like so, and they're not too bad. So that's pretty cool. If I come over to the mock now, I can just show you what exactly this is going to be doing. So we just bring this over here, and then it's going to go basically somewhere right here. Don't know fully yet. i got to move some stuff out of the way and figure it out. But this is just going to let be put in like so. And probably some stuff being unloaded or something like that. Or it might even go over here somewhere. Just have to rearrange some stuff. But with that said, with the mock now, what I've been working on is I've... Right now I'm thinking of maybe expanding it another 32 studs this way. So that's a nice bit more space for the grant, for like the town and that. Maybe, be a, maybe it might be a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, that's all I've really done with this area, and then I've just sort of t just made this a bit smoother and tiled it off a bit better. But yeah, nothing really much I've done off camera other than making that little transport vehicle. So yeah, uh, as I said, I want to work a bit more here today, as well as maybe start a house, so we're just going to basically work along and get some more progress done. Okay everyone, so a quick little update on what I've been doing. So I now have this section filled in of this rock area. It's not 100% complete because I still have to do this ground. It is a really tight squeeze in here. It's only like, what, three studs. But that's enough because basically this is just a little cave entrance that leads down to this area so it doesn't really need to be too too big and I think that's enough because of course I can still fit some mini figures down here like I can show you I can still fit a mini figure down there and they have a decent amount of space so yeah that's not that bad so yeah so now that I have this done, I feel like this is some pretty good progress. But now what I want to try to do is try to figure out a building here. As you can see, I did plan for these buildings to be pretty big. Like, as you can see, this would be one whole building. I may not try to do that. I may just try to 
scatter a few different smaller buildings around just because I don't want to I want to have as much battle space as possible so that's going to be all waiting game I may also expand this pathway a little bit and stuff like that so basically we're just gonna get some more stuff done as you can see here I basically use all this area perfectly very little space put to waste which is what I'm glad to be doing because really that's a positive having as much of the space filled in with detail is a good thing there is some other other little gaps that are around like right here there's little gaps but I don't see that as a big deal because once this got this roof on it's gonna be pretty dark as you can see and you'll still be able to see it there but that other side is gonna have stuff over there as well so it should all work out if not I can always find a way to fill them in so yeah I also have nothing this hallway of course which I do really like I may expand it just so it comes flush here to the end of this base plate I'm not 100% sure yet but we'll wait and see I'm really excited with how this part has came along with this mounted and I just can't wait to start the base part portion all I have left to do is put the little roof on right here and then yeah we'll be basically be able to start this little section we do will have to of course work up this area but we also need to figure out what we're doing exactly one thing with this mock I did not plan which I'm sort of upset about but it's also a f easy fix is how when you're going along this whole mock there is this little well you can see all the filler brick and stuff like that which I do have a pretty easy way to fix it I'm just going to take black brick and plate and make, basically make this makeshift wall that comes across here just to lay there just so you can't see through everything so that should be okay but when you're taking pictures and stuff you can sort of work around it like you'll be able to angle it just perfectly just like this for instance and then you can get a picture or you can just come in more so that should be not a big deal there is spots like this which I didn't want to have covered up with like with this doorway now you can't see this little line so that worked out perfectly but with that said I think this is all coming along nicely I am gonna do some more work here now and then I'll get back to you okay everyone so to start off this update I first have this little hall right here not all this is gonna be used in this mock such as the 330 second battle pack and this will probably be used or at least parts of it so we have a 501st special specialist like battle pack I guess you can say we have a 332nd battle pack we have a clone trooper and well we have the clone trooper battle pack another one so that's three now and we also have this pirate snub fighter um I feel like this would be pretty cool to have this fighter maybe somewhere in the mock and especially these figures because we're going to need a bunch of variety of figures throughout this mock so I feel like this set is pretty perfect now coming over to the mock here we have a lot done as you can see so basically we have our first building made and I also expanded the pathway a bit just to go around it so if we come here at the building and just look down at it this is a bar I think it's pretty cool um, here if I take this base plate out more we can see it a bit better but so basically what we have is we have this doorway going in here with this little canopy like bit you have another little canopy right here with some random greebling here saying something who knows what it's saying to something random and then coming over to this side we have another bit of greebling just something random probably just something saying it was something about the bar or a it's a bar then on this side we just have another little canopy up top here we have a dome piece I sadly only have one of these so this will be the only one in the mock um, so yeah you can basically just use it to see inside and stuff like that up top we have a little 
sort of ventilation system, just a random barrel, and some antennas. If we look at it from this way, we have the path expanded, of course, and I've basically went this with the same theme of the path, except I added a few more things like some of these little leaf pieces as well throughout it. So yeah. One thing I am going to have to pick up more of is these, I think it's nugget pieces. Uh, these are actually so useful and I really want to even use them even more. So I'm probably going to pick up some more. If we spin this around to the back now, we can see inside. Oops. I am going to lift this up to be able to see a little bit more light because it's pretty dark. So if we look in here now, yeah, as you can see, it's really dark back there. But right here we have this little bar counter, just right here. Uh, it just has a, two little drinks and then a wine glass. And it just has enough space to put a bartender back there. Nothing huge. Coming back here we have this stand for the musicians that we're probably going to have. If not we could have like people dancing or something on that lines. Then we just have two bar tables, pretty simple designs. And basically, we can have. I'm gonna have three minifigures sitting down, as right here, right here, and right here. This seat's like just pushed in. Pretty simple bar design and pretty simple building design. Did take a little bit to come up with because I wasn't completely sure what I was gonna do. Now that I have an idea, things will go along a lot quicker. And I also feel like this works really well with the mock. I am going to of course fiddle with this a little bit more probably later on but this is the main basically design for this um one thing i also gonna say is i used mostly tan pieces and my goodness it goes through a lot quickly uh one thing i also kind of tried to do is try to break it up is i use some of these different one by two plates such as light gray dark gray and tan just to give it a little bit more uh, characteristic and to not have it so bland if I could I probably would put a little bit more right here but it's not the end of the world and I feel like this side turned out pretty well I did use some one by fours up here so yeah I feel like the building turned out pretty good and it honestly adds to this mock a ton and I cannot wait to have more throughout here as we still have about at the very least four to five buildings left so i feel like that would be pretty cool i say it will only be probably four more maybe five because i also want to have a landing pad or two throughout this mock so yeah i feel like this turned out really well and i also love looking through here now being able to finally just look back and see not fill a brick fill a brick so that is really cool and basically even if i just add a mini figure up here for instance just to show you it's going to look pretty sick so yeah this turned out pretty well better than i actually thought and was expecting and i cannot wait to add on more so yeah this is going to wrap up this week we've gotten a ton of progress done such as these two walls here and then a bit out here. Not as much as I was expecting to do it here. I was expecting to do a bit more. And I am happy that I left this little area open. Because what I can do here now is have a little stand or something on that lines. Because as you remember I was going to have this building come out all the way. But I didn't. So I feel like that worked out pretty well. And of course I am going to expand at the very least this much more 32 studs. Maybe I might go to... 60 is it it's to a whole great base plate i haven't fully decided yet so we'll go from there and another thing i was even thinking of doing is expanding it more this way but then i got to the point like do i really want to add on more mounting work because that would be so much more filler brick and so much more stuff to put up here and really with the parts i have on hand right now that would be a lot more work so i feel like this is pretty good with that all said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.